What's up, Sterile Process Universe? It's Hake Balt here. You're watching another episode of Fighting Dirty over here at the Beyond Clean YouTube channel. Thank you for stopping by. Yeah, thank you for watching this video and thank you for what you're about to do, which is hopefully like and subscribe uh, to the video and subscribe to the channel. Um, that would be friggin' awesome. And if you hit the little bell, you'll be notified every time we come out with a new video about sterile processing, a new panel discussion, a new conference video, you name it. Uh, we're pumping these babies out all throughout the week, every week, talking about sterile processing content and conversations that matter to you and to the industry. So thanks again for tuning in. All right, on this episode, we're gonna be talking about prep and pack. Kind of an introductory video to what is a prep and pack area, uh, what's happening in this assembly area, also known as the clean side. Uh, so if you watch the first video about decontamination, this is kind of that next stage, right? So all the instruments have been decontaminated. They've been cleaned through manual and mechanical cleaning. And now the surgical instruments are ready for the next stage, right? So they're coming through the washers. We're taking them out of the washers. Maybe they're coming through the pass-through window. Uh, they're getting to the clean side. It's called the prep and pack side, which is uh, just an abbreviation for preparing and packaging because that's what's going on in this stage. If you envision a department, there's different tables scattered out through the prep and pack area. And at each one of these tables is a sterile processing technician whose responsibility it is at that assignment area to assemble, inspect, and package instruments for the next stage, which is the sterilization stage. So they're going to be getting these instruments off of the washer racks. They're going to be uh, through either computer systems or maybe checklists. They're going to say, okay, um, which of these trays are needed for tomorrow's surgeries or maybe later today's surgery. So they're going to prioritize at this stage and say, okay, we need that open heart tray. They're going to pull the open heart tray. It's going to go back with them to their table. And then they start the prep and pack. And that's where they inspect all the instruments. They make sure that everything is there that should be there that there's no extra instruments that made their way into the tray. They're going to make sure that all the instruments are clean, that what was supposed to happen in the decontamination phase actually happened. And they're going to check and make sure that everything is functioning the way it was designed to function from the manufacturer. So do the scissors cut? Are they cutting smoothly? Do the clamps clamp? If they're supposed to lock, do they lock? Do the retractors retract? Do they open and do they stay open? Uh, do the spring spring, right? So everything in this assembly stage has got to be tested for functionality because uh, a clean, sterile surgical instrument does no good to a surgeon if it actually doesn't function the way that it should function. And in fact, a broken instrument can cause a tremendous amount of harm and risk in the surgical procedure. So we want to make sure that everything is there, that nothing extra is there, that what is there is clean, and that what's there is in working condition. Once all that is confirmed, and we use things called checklists or count sheets or pick lists um, at this stage to make sure that everything in this tray is uh, correct at the right variations of there. If you're not familiar, there's a ton of different kinds of surgical instruments, even within the same category. So there's not one type of surgical scissor. There's hundreds and hundreds of different types of surgical scissors because you've got different lengths, you've got different variations, you got curved, you got straight, you've got blunt, you've got sharp, on and on and on it goes. And so at this stage, all those little nuances have to be caught by this expert in sterile processing to make sure the right instruments are getting into the right tray at the right time and getting packaged appropriately. Speaking of packaging, that's kind of the other side of that prep and pack. You also got to determine how is this instrument tray or set supposed to be packaged. And depending on what it is, sometimes it goes into some disposable packing uh, that may be like a pill pack if they're smaller 
instruments, one or two instruments will go in something called a pill pack. It's like a little plastic uh, type of bag. Um, larger instruments go in either disposable wrap or uh, larger rigid containers, kind of hard little containers, looks like a little box basically. Um, and then they'll be routed into different areas depending on how they're going to be sterilized. And that packaging stage has a lot of nuances. I won't go into all the details, but you do got to know what you're doing. Know what type of tray and where it's going in the workflow to make sure that you pick the appropriate packaging. So a lot of stuff going on in, in Prep and Pack. It's a very active space in the department. There's a lot of complexity. There's a lot of attention to detail. Uh, but it's a lot of fun because you encounter different trays all throughout the evening, all throughout the night. And if you're a, a um, if you're at a large facility with a lot of complex procedures, you're going to see a lot of different types of instruments in trays. All right, so that's your intro into prep and pack. Um, we're going to be talking about the other areas of the sterile processing department in future videos. So make sure and hang with us for that. But for now, we're going to leave you. And as we say here at Beyond Clean, we want you all every single day to keep fighting dirty. Until next time. We're happy on the scene. We got it going on, running five years strong. We're fighting so dirty, yet keeping it clean. Where do you go when you're a sterile processing pro to have conversations that no one else is having? How do you access expert subject matter? Well, look no further. Got a digital gathering. We're so clean, yeah, like beyond clean For all the clean freaks out there listening We're having discussions and talking info Getting bigger with over a million podcast downloads Splish splash, we're doing our thing For the clean freaks, we're happy on the scene We got it going on, running five years strong We're fighting so dirty, yeah, keeping it clean yeah. Splish splash, we're doing our thing For the clean freaks And myths and misconceptions on a regular basis. We won't leave you guessing. Setting things in motion and answering questions. Come and take a listen if you want to learn a lesson. Decontaminating and sterilizing. So much work goes into it, no one realizes. But we take it serious when we're on the scene. Keeping it beyond clean before every surgery. Splish splash, we're doing our thing for the clean breaks. We're happy on the scene. We got it going on, running five years strong. We're fighting so dirty, yet keeping it clean. Yeah. Split splash, we're doing our thing. For the clean freaks, we're heavy on the scene. We got it going on, running five years strong. Hey, shout out to Sterile Processing.